Okay. Rules committee members only. Okay, if you're not on the rules committee, can I ask you please step outside so the meeting can get started? Representative Newton, could you come forward please? We had someone who tried to sneak in this morning, so um, this is rules committee members only. And this is set a supplemental calendar for today. Supplemental calendar for today. Okay, Whip Kelly, you're first. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have a motion to withdraw the committee substitute to 483 that was originally propo proposed this morning. Okay, and you have a. Okay, got a move and a second to withdraw. All in favor say aye. All opposed, like sign. Yes, sir, you're on now. All right, Mr. Chairman, now I have a, a motion. To offer a rules committee substitute for Senate Bill 483, LC 338442S. Uh, we have uh, needed to make just a couple small changes uh, as it related to hypodermic needles, uh, and that has been withdrawn uh, from the bill. There's still the uh, information that has left modernizing uh, our state's HIV uh, statutes, and that is still in as well as the uh, underlying bill. I'll ask for this uh, committee support. Okay, any questions for the whip? Okay, seeing none, we have a, a motion on the floor to uh, pass, let's see, SR 483 substitute. Would you read the LC number again? I don't have that copy. It's LC 338442S. And they are being distributed right now. There's only just that minor change. I'll give you 30 seconds or so to look it over. Oh, they need a, they need a copy of the bill. Mr. Will, would you go over that, the changes in this one more time? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The only difference that we, uh, from the committee substitute we adopted this morning is we took out some of the language that related to hypodermic needles. Uh, it, it still contains the language minus the hypodermic needle section from House Bill 719 that this House overwhelmingly passed, as well as the underlying uh, section of the bill uh, in, in Part 1s and, and I believe in Part 2. Okay. Are there any questions for the whip as it relates to the substitute for 483? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, like sign. It will be put on this afternoon under modified structure. Mr. Leader, I think you have a. I do. What's your. There yes, you go. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have a, uh, a substitute for SB 407 that I'd like to present. Yes, sir. Let me. 
Mr. Chairman. This um, LC number is LC 441525ERS. And it's several pages in the bill, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what this language does. Um, of course, as we know, our, all of our businesses are, are going through a tough time now, and certainly we're doing our part from, from, from this body, and certainly the federal government is doing this part. But this is an opportunity to um, do a public-private partnerships and bring some additional capital into the state that can be invested here. This would bring in $100 million. This is the Georgia Small Business Recovery Act is what I've named it, what we've named it. $100 million of privately raised capital we invested starting this year in small businesses across this state. $70 million in the first 12 months and the, and the complete total within the $100 million within tw 24 months. 30% of that amount will be earmarked to go into minority-owned businesses, women-owned or veteran-owned or, or rural small businesses. Those loans will be, loans will defer interest and principal payments for one year at a 2% rate. Zero budget impact uh, for three years. Premium tax credits will be deferred until the fourth year and capped at 20 million in 23, uh, 24, 25, and 26. Uh, this program will come at, will work to help strengthen and make some of the capital available for our, for our businesses as we struggle through these tough economic times. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd ask that this committee adopt this um, language as a substitute to SB 407. Okay, uh, Mr. Williams, that's you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Leader, just one question on the bill. I think it has good intent, sounds good, but is there any oversight or reporting to see that it's doing what it's saying it's doing? I have a lot of small businesses that have mentioned from the federal program that they never got any help. Are we going to be able to report back in January where it went and who got it? To the gentleman's question, uh, yes, Chairman. Yes, this is, Representative Williams, this program will um, operate very much just like the, and have oversight like the Guardia program did. And those, um, the, the money was um, allocated and, and the loans were made and, and everything worked as we have passed that legislation. And this legislation is, is patterned exactly like that from oversight. So I believe there's adequate oversight to, to ensure and report back to this body that it will be taken care of. Thank you for that question. D D DCA um, had that responsibility on, on the previous bill, and they will certainly be engaged again on this, this language to help these small businesses and these minority businesses. Okay, I see no more questions. So we have a substitute for 407 LC 441525ERS. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed like sign, it's on. Thank you. All right, and it will also be under modified structure for this afternoon. Okay, we've got three or four more that we'll add. Uh, and these have been discussed on numerous occasions. Um, and I think that's the last, Leo, is that the last substitutes we got? Okay. Um, All right, let's, let's start here with 402. That was presented this morning by Senator Robertson. Uh, do I hear a motion to pass? All, right. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed like sign, it's on, modified structured. Senate Bill 375, out of ways and means. Since it's out of ways and means, it will be structured. Got a move and a second. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, like sign. 336, we've already uh, voted on a substitute for that. Um, so I need a motion to do pass. Got a move and a second. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, like sign. Okay, Senate Bill 308. Have a motion? Yeah. Okay, we got a move and a second finally. Uh, all in favor say aye. 
All opposed, like sign. All right, Senate Bill 289. Uh, all in favor say aye. I tell you what, there's just not much enthusiasm at all. Well, we've discussed them. Okay, uh, 289 got to do, uh, do uh, got a spur, uh, move and a second. All in favor say aye. All opposed, like sign. 162. Oh, I like his enthusiasm. We got a, got a move and a second. All in favor say aye. All opposed like sign. House Bill, I mean Senate Bill 71. Got a move and a second. All in favor say aye. All opposed like sign. Let me run through these again for you. Senate Bill 71, Senate Bill 162, Senate Bill 289, Senate Bill 308, Senate Bill 336, 402 and the subs for 407 and 483 will be all under modified structured and then Senate Bill 375 will be structured. This will be the supplemental calendar for today. Thank you all. Huh? 483, yeah. Yeah, 43 was on the, is on the count. That's, that's sub, yes. Meetings adjourned.